Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation, Moreover, they offer lifetime after-sales support in addition to 24 by 7 customer support. The Merry Christmas sale is live right now. Don't miss out Keys fans' incredible holiday discounts. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows Series with RTG52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the description for details. What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. So today, we're diving into the brand new version of WinLater 9 which is the official version, possibly, the biggest update ever released for WinLater on Android. This version is packed with incredible new features and improvements. All right, so they added a new graphics driver called Vortex, an experimental driver feature. New custom option to install components like Box64, DXVK, and Turnip. Improved ALSA plugin. They also updated new Box64 version. And there are a couple of like the performance improvements and some other bug fixes. The major upgrade here is the new Vortex driver. This is good news for people who are using non-Snapdragon devices or like incompatible Adreno GPU. I mean, it's a universal driver. However, it's still in beta, so let's see how it actually performs. As usual, go to Assets. Download the latest WinLater package and install. Now I'll close all the apps. Also, I will be testing it on the Galaxy device, which has the Exynos 1380 with a Mali G68 GPU. Okay, all right, now open WinLater. Allow permission. Same as usual. Head over to Settings. Here, preferred input API is already set to both. Choose Box64 version. You can also install components of other Box64 versions. Like here, I'll choose 0.3.1 version, which is currently stable. Or if you want to emulate older 32-bit titles, then always prefer 0.2.8 version. Select version and OK. It starts downloading the file. Now choose the version you prefer. So currently the 0.3.1 or below lower are stable without any issues. Set box 64 version to performance. Create custom performance preset. Here set Dynarex safe flags value to zero for better stable performance. And here you can also install other Wine version components like usual. But Wine 9.2 is currently the best stable version. Choose the preset. Now save the settings. Add new container. Set screen resolution you prefer. Always prefer lower for better performance. And now to graphics driver. As mentioned here is the new Vortex driver, which universally works for all devices, including the Mali, Eclipse GPUs, or some unsupported Adreno GPU. I think there is a chance to work of the DirectX 10 or 11. Let's have to wait for the future updates improvements of this driver. So here the DXVK is selected. Select version you prefer. Same, you can also download the other version components. Select audio driver to pulse audio. Everything is same as usual. Set GPU name to GTX 1070 or above. GPU memory to maximum. Now to environment variables. Add new variable. Select DXVK HUD to enable FPS stats. It's your choice. And to advanced. Set startup selection to aggressive. Select Windows version 7 for older titles. 10 is recommended and in processor, enable all CPU cores as usual. Now save the container. Now boot. Now to start. Let's first check out Direct3D because it's very important to make sure everything is set. And as you guys can see, it's running on the new Vortex driver with good frame rates on the Adreno 735 GPU. All right, it's time for the test. Like I'm very curious to know like how this driver can actually perform in real time. So let's get into it. And this is Stray PC, and it's a quite demanding intensive title based on DirectX 12. I will turn off all these things. Okay. Meanwhile, let's also try this on the non-Snapdragon device. All right. All right, and there we go. It's running on the Vortex you can see. Looks quite stable, but if you set it to low graphics, you'll get better performance. Let's try with RDR1. Set to Vortex Driver. If we load it, yeah, we got an error that it requires DirectX 11. Well, it's not working. If we try to change some settings, again, same error. 
Now let's try with God of War. Well, it gets crashed. We'll also remember that this driver is new and currently experimental. But if we again set it back to turnip? Well, obviously, it works normal. No issues at all. Well, this is the on the Molly version of the device. Now everything is set. Has Exynos 1380 with 6 gigs of RAM. Now boot the container. Same, the driver is set to the Vortex. And let's see. Go to start. Test Direct 3D. Okay, okay, it's crashed, guys. Again, here I'll change it to Wine D3D. Come on, again, it's crashed. Like the Vortex driver is not at all working on Molly. Maybe if you have different device, you can try. Might be work for you. So here I'll import some games to container as shortcuts. Let's start with GTA 4. Here it is set to Vortex driver. DX wrapper set to Wine D3D. And here it gives the same error. Let's try with DXVK. Okay, we got a window. Well, it didn't. Let's try with NFS Most Wanted 2012, which is based on DirectX 10. Well, we got an error, same. But the VirGL works same as usual, but only for DirectX 9 titles. So, the Vortex driver is still incompatible with Mali GPU device. Like, it might work for you if you have a powerful Dimensity 8300, like on X6 Pro or 9300. Like, I don't know. But in future, you may expect a lot of improvements of this driver. Like, the AAAs might work in future. I hope. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked also, subscribed. And also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.